വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് ഗിറ്റ്ഹബ് കോ പൈലറ്റ് ഇൻ ടുഡേസ് എപ്പിസോഡ് വി ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ടു ദ ബേസിക്സ് ഓഫ് കോ പൈലറ്റ് ഇൻ വി എസ് കോഡ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് ക്വിക്ക്ലി മൂവ് ടു ദ കോഡ് ബേസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് വിത്ത് ഇൻസ്റ്റലേഷൻ സോ ലെറ്റ് മി കോ ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻസ്റ്റോൾ കോ പൈലറ്റ് ഇൻ വിഷ് സ്റ്റുഡിയോ ഗോ ടു ദ എക്സ്റ്റൻഷൻസ് സെർച്ച് ഫോർ കോ പൈലറ്റ് once you search there are bunch of copilot elements are coming here extensions are coming here you can see there is a github copilot this is the one we needed just go ahead and install it once the installation complete you have an icon coming in the down normally it ask for uh, login to github as i have already logged into github it's taken that credentials and enabled copilot for me So that's a simple installation along with the copilot copilot chat also got installed these two are installed right now now the login user information you can find from the settings down here there is a user icon you can see what's the accounts available the login user information is available here sometimes we may use multiple login information for login to visual studio which may or may not be enabled for copilot ensure that you have login with the id which have copilot access license is assigned to that now let us look into the copilot settings go to manage extensions or settings you will be able to go for the under the extensions there is a copilot settings available so in case you have a specific file where you don't need the copilot you can disable that as part of this enable and disable copilot completion for specific languages so for example i have disabled copilot for a plain text and now let us go ahead and create one plain text file here test.txt and i am going to ask copilot support whether it's able to provide or not once i start typing you can see that down the copilot icon is disabled indicating that this particular file the copilot is disabled as part of my settings now let me go ahead and enable this one the false mark is turned to be true so copilot should be supported for this or you just delete this one because all items i have marked as true already so the setting is changed right now now go back to our test file you can see that the copilot icon is enabled right now and start typing saying list of items you can see that copilot start giving me some kind of prompt already the support is coming in the plain text as well so that's one of the settings of copilot you can decide for particular languages or file file types where you need the copilot support or disable the support of copilot and auto completion is another aspect you can enable or disable it in case you don't need the auto completion in the editor you need only the chat to be supported you can disable this one and there is a copilot chat related settings here one is the copilot local override it automatically takes a co visual studios display language whatever the local configuration is done for the local that will be fetched here for example i have a different settings i set it as french that is my setting right now so the display language needs to be french so i am going here and asking for how to define an api so the copilot is thinking and it's supposed to come back with the result in french you can observe that the response is coming based on the language settings so the entire explanation is french so let me go back and reset it to auto i don't need this french based prompt so let me give the exactly the same prompt again back to copilot this time it should give me the 
settings based on automatic that is English language that is a VS code language I set up so you can see that the explanation coming in English language now so if you have a different language you can set up that language here another setting is copilot chat welcome message whether you want to give that welcome message always or first time so I have make it as always now let us go back to here and start a new session you can see that the welcome message is coming or let me start with a, some new chat altogether it brings that welcome message again if I set it as first time the chat having this one and next time you don't have that welcome message coming here so the welcome message if you don't want every time you can do that one and the copilot actions um, in the editor actions if you want to enable or disable you can do that aspect also these are the settings associated with the copilot if you have some advanced settings you can go for advanced we'll look into that later right now the basic settings are covered in terms of support for the language or the file types and overriding the explanation languages the language support for copilot and the welcome message display these are the three elements we modified as part of settings now let us move to a JS file where I ask the copilot support for defining a function to validate phone number this is what my requirement when I press enter key you can see that copilot came with a suggestion just hover on that you have the number of suggestions available right now here there are three suggestions just navigate through these suggestions so that which one is more appropriate you can identify from here itself if you feel one suggestion is appropriate you can press tab to accept that suggestion similarly sometimes you may have multiple suggestions available here in this case if I want to see what are the multiple suggestions available so email I'm just going next and go for control enter for opening the copilot suggestions there are 10 suggestions should be populated and it's looking at all the suggestions in duplicate is there it normally remove the duplicates so you have the suggestions here you can go ahead and look at each of these suggestions which one is more appropriate you can accept that you have the accept along with the suggestion if I click on this one it's accepted that there is a bunch of validation methods came here based on our requirement we can either keep it this or remove this one so these are the ways the inline support from copilot you give the prompt press enter the whatever the suggestion coming you can just um, hover on that one to see multiple suggestions availability and accept either complete suggestion or navigate to the different suggestions or accept partially word by word or a sentence or one line at a time so partial acceptance is also possible now let us move to the another area where how the copilot support in the inline in the editor itself so i have a set of functions here if I want to know this methods, uh, either I explanation or dealing with some aspects of this method, I can open the chat and ask the copilot to explain here. This is one way of uh, getting the support of copilot, but most of the time we work on the ID. We don't need to context switch to a chat box. Uh, in that case, right click, there is a copilot menu. You can start inline chat, explain, fix, generate docs and text. Let me go for generate docs. You can see that copilot is open here. You can just accept it came here. And if it is some kind of fixing is required, for example, I'm just moving to this one. There is no issues or anything. Let me see what copilot find it. And I ask for the fixing. Copilot is trying to understand any specific issues are there. It's going to fix in terms of there is a seller ID angle. So sellers any kind of modification is required. If I need this fix I can take it up or 
just discard it or if a new suggestion is required regenerate it it again evaluate the complete sector and identify whether any particular things can be done so it's a complete rewriting of this method with a normal one so if i feel this one is also not appropriate i can go ahead and regenerate again or discard entirely the things similarly explain is also as um, the chart is provided you just right click go to copilot select explain this one or if you have text generation you can go ahead and generate the test here so let us see another file for test generation so i have this uh, palindrome checking here so i'm going to ask copilot to generate test using this context menu generate the test so it's exactly similar to what we have in the chat it generated a couple of test cases and if it is fine for me i can just accept it or ignore it so i'm just discarding here and this function have an issue in terms of both the if statements returning true so let me see whether copilot is able to fix it right click copilot fix this so it should return false in one of the cases and you can see that copilot is able to identify the issue and make the suggestion the return else portion should return false so that's a inline chat or the contextual menu of copilot which helps you to quickly act on different areas in terms of explaining the code generating the test cases fixing some elements adding documentations kind of so let us deep dive into more such ui specific vs code based features in our next episode thank you